Um, you know, if we were losing four people a day to Ebola or terrorist incidents or other acts of violence, there's nothing that we wouldn't do to prevent and stop those deaths. We have uh, addiction, uh, whether it's by substances like opiates or alcohol, which hijacks critical brain pathways and makes people unable to respond in the way they normally would. And we need to bring the assistance to people that they need. And certainly, this is not a new standard. We already have a capacity to commit people under Section 35. This is just working through the process of what this will look like so that physicians and other, others in the emergency room or other settings uh, can respond to the clinical circumstances in front of them. The urgency is good, because um, again, it's, I don't think we've seen that from state leadership in the past. Uh, the governor's legislation is a huge step forward. Uh, and it's part of a larger puzzle, as the Secretary said, the supplemental budget that was passed earlier this year, the work he's done with the medical school deans on medical education. Um, I think we're all heartened by his leadership, um, and we really do look forward to working with the Governor and Secretary Sutters and the other pieces of the puzzles moving forward. When you have a choice, and you know as a mother or father or spouse, that the choice is you're either going to buy a casket and make appointment at a funeral home or you have to beg somebody to help you get treatment for this person that is not in a place right now that can make a decision. Um, especially with the opiates, the pills that are out there and the heroin, their capacity to make a, a good decision is gone. It's out the window. So sometimes it takes the people that love them to, you know, step in. And that's not a bad thing for family involvement. It's, every community needs help. Every community. Um, and you know, when you, when you can't get that help or when you ask for that help and you're turned away and then it falls back onto the family, which is what not a lot of people realize, we can't be their treatment centers. And um, you know, I'm just elated that hopefully that will change.